Hi, my name is Paul Haas, and I'm a candidate for the Modesto Symphony's music director position. I'd like to dive deeper with you into each of the pieces from our upcoming concert, Beethoven's Coriolan Overture, Dinuk Widgeratne's Tabla Concerto, and Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony. Today, let's talk about the Beethoven. Now, this overture, this story, is a tragedy. And Beethoven wrote it in 1807, which is just before he wrote his famous Fifth Symphony. So you have some context. He wrote it as a reaction to the play Coriolan by the Austrian playwright Colleen. But he wrote it three years after the play had its disastrous premiere and subsequently flopped. The story itself is typical tragic stuff. Coriolanus is a Roman aristocrat who's falsely accused of being a traitor to the people. And he's banished from Rome. So he runs away to the south and joins up with the Volscians, who were an enemy of Rome's at that time in history. And being a natural leader, Coriolanus whips them into shape and leads them in a full-scale attack on Rome. But here's where things get complicated. Coriolanus's mother, Volumnia, comes out to meet him on the outskirts of Rome. And she begs him to stop. She begs him to spare Rome, to spare the people. And she succeeds. She persuades him. But the problem now is that he can't go back. He's got a well-trained army of Volscians at his heels, and he can't just walk up to them and convince them to turn around and go back home. So he's, he's stuck. And in Colleen's play, he kills himself. Now, musically, this is how it all plays out. After some mind-bendingly amazing opening chords, let's call it a fate motif, we launch into a driving, searching theme. Da -da 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 da -da 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 which I think is fair to say represents Coriolanus and his drive for revenge, his fatal flaw, right? Then after that theme, we launch into a second one. This now this next theme is is tender, right? It's it's pleading. And I think it's likely that Beethoven, as, as he was writing this music, was thinking of Volumnia, Coriolanus' mother, how she begged and pleaded with him to have mercy on the Romans. Now, usually in classical music of that period, essentially all the themes from the first part of the piece get repeated again in the second part of the piece, but somehow changed or resolved. But here, Beethoven plays with that expectation to match the drama of the story. Because remember, nothing gets resolved here. We're left hopeless. So yes, Beethoven does repeat all the themes from the first part, but he switches up the order. He starts with the pleading mother's theme, right? That second theme, Volumnia's theme, so that we can end up with Coriolanus himself, trapped, self-destructing. Because that's what the music does at that point. Coriolanus's theme literally falls apart at the end. It's a devastating effect. Even if we didn't know the story, we would know, just from the music alone, we would know that something terrible has happened here. I programmed this piece because it leaves us in the perfect state of mind for the beginning of Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony. You see, this is the trajectory we're following for me. In the Beethoven, we start with powerful tragedy. Then in the Tabla Concerto, it's almost like an exotic dream, almost heavenly by comparison. And then after the intermission, we launch headlong into the desperation of the beginning of the Tchaikovsky. So again, Beethoven leads into the Tchaikovsky, 
but with the tabla concerto in between as, as an incredible dream. All of this music is incredible and powerful. I hope you'll join us on May 6th and 7th, that's Friday and Saturday at the Gallo Center for the Arts, as the Modesto Symphony and I perform Beethoven, Wieseratne, and Tchaikovsky. <laughs>